Hey everybody, Chad Dukes here from the LeVar Arrington Show with Chad Dukes and the Chad Dukes Broadcast in HD, which can be heard on WJFK HD2. A couple news of note today from my video blog of the week. First of all, I wanted to congratulate Roy Nelson for his stunning knockout of Stefan Skyscraper Struve at a UFC Fight Night. And if you don't know who Roy Nelson is, uh, picture me but somehow I can fight. And that's why I love this guy. He looks like your average American. He's got a big belly, but tremendous wrestling, tremendous jiu-jitsu, uh, hard hands, and really has been tearing up the UFC. So give yourself the opportunity to get to know Big Country. Go to YouTube, check out some of his videos. I think you'll have fun watching him fight. Uh, locally here, pissed off at a bunch of different things going off in DC sports. Of course, this week, Donovan McNabb was announced as the quarterback for the Washington Redskins. I've been a long-time proponent of that. I think it's a tremendous deal. Uh, Stan Kasten from the National Nationals. He's on my S list. Uh, not only is this guy going on Philadelphia radio and uh, asking Philly fans to come down and buy tickets to Nationals games, but I, I guess I was reading in the DC Sports Blog that he encourages entire groups of people, uh, businesses, to come down and have like seminars and workshops in National Stadium to sell tickets. Uh, look, dude, I know you want to sell tickets. You've come on the show. I respect you. I'm excited about Strasburg and some of these moves, but the way you sell tickets is to put a winning team out there. It's not to appeal to the winning organizations that have to happen to be geographically close to you. It just pisses me off because if you are a Nationals fan and you go to a Nationals game, you're in the minority. There's 20,000 dumbass Red Sox or, God forbid, Philadelphia fans there stomping on Donovan McNabb jerseys and starting Nats You Suck chants on opening day. I don't care how many tickets you sell. That sucks. You're making your home team fans, those of us that are fans of the team, feel like that we're in a visiting team's park when we go down to Nationals Ballpark and, and where there's nothing to do other than watch baseball. You, you cannot market your team that way. It pisses me off. Uh, Andre Blotch, I, I get rid of this dude. This was a guy that I was singing his praises of a couple weeks ago. If any of you saw that video of his display about getting the triple-double where he's yelling at his own teammates for getting rebounds and asking Yi Zhang Li to, to, to give him a rebound on a, on a free throw so he can get his triple-double, I've never seen a more selfish player. And this is after he called the coach a liar and was benched in the middle of the game. So those two teams, seriously, I, I don't know what's going on with them. There are some positive notes. I, I mentioned the McNabb trade. Uh, Capitals, just tremendous. Uh, the President's Cup, right? Shaking knee. I don't want to say President's that. President's Trophy. President's Trophy. I don't want to disrespect that. Unbelievable achievement. Really looking forward to see who they draw in the first uh, the first round of the playoffs. Um, if the Thrashers do make it, Steve Colby came on our show and said that would uh, that'd be a good matchup for them. But but I don't know. At the time you watch this, I'm not sure it'll be ascertained. But looking forward to a championship run by them. Um, and then finally, I'm a big professional wrestling fan. Uh, the Rock, I guess, is now finally making a, a I don't want to say adult movie because that sounds like porno, but an action movie for adults. It's called uh, Faster. I believe they released a teaser image of it online. You can actually check my Twitter, Chad Dukes, uh, at Chad Dukes on Twitter. I tweeted it um, where he looks big and strong and like he's kicking ass and no more Escape from Witch Mountain. Uh, no more, uh, what, what are some of the terrible movies he's been in checking? Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy. Oh my god. I'd, put a, put, I'd rather chew glass than watch the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> so uh, if you're a fan of The Rock, it does look like he's going back to making good action movies. And he's also been tweeting about having one more match. Uh, Bill Goldberg's been tweeting about having one more match. Steve Austin's been tweeting about one more match. So hopefully if we can get some of these guys back involved It'll uh, push the WWE even further to get, get a better product out there if you're a professional wrestling fan. Very cool. Check out Monday Night Mafias on thefukerton.com every single Monday night. It's a free weekly series we do. I think it's a lot of fun. I think you'll like it. And check back here next week for another video blog from Brad Fuchs. Thunder!